Hi, I'm Tyler Stenson, and you're watching The Portland Pick. There's a lighthouse cutting I grew up listening to Dan Fogelberg, James Taylor, uh, Garth Brooks, um, kind of folky, twangy le leanings. And uh, so that's what I grew up kind of in, in my bones, more or less. And then when I went to college, I, I did what everybody else did and started listening to Dave Matthews and Counting Crows. And I write folk music because it feels the most comfortable. It feels like what I grew up listening to. Um, but I'm kind of taking the pieces from the Counting Crows and Adam Duritz is like very artistic lyrics and so I call it elegant folk because it's familiar folk music that won't blow your mind uh, melodically or musically but I my lyrics are what I pour over it's what I spend all my time doing and I pride myself in them being slightly on the on the poetic uh, interesting side I pretty much come up with a guitar part in a in a 10 minute session. If it sounds slightly unique, I'll, I'll roll with it. Because uh, music theory and uh, composition is not really my thing. And then I will literally spend um, from a couple months to six years crafting lyric for a song. And I do that by, um, I'll, I don't ever really sit down and write a song, I do it while I'm driving. I know what the melody is, I know what the guitar does, and it to me it's a puzzle. And I just, while I'm driving, while I'm laying in bed, it just, I don't put a timeline on things because it, it works itself out ultimately, and I, I just, I let it find its, I let it speak to me in, in terms of, I don't put a timeline on a song, I let it happen as it wants to happen, and it reveals itself in little pieces. I am releasing my 10th album called Some Days I'm a Lion and I am uh, endlessly excited about this record uh, for what it for what it sounds like but for what it means in my career as well and uh, this is a CD that I can't put my finger on it but for some reason it it has an energy it has it has I knew I needed to uh, put my all into the release and I, I knew I needed to print 2,000 copies instead of 1,000 copies. It just, for some reason, I have the utmost of confidence in this record. Uh, my thoughts on the Portland music scene is that it has changed drastically. Um, when I moved to Nashville a couple years back, I I met a lot of people who, who weren't proud of where they were from because the music scene was so sparse. Um, I moved to Nashville and felt at home because the music scene was so rich, moving to a city with the music scene that's so rich. So I'm actually extremely uh, proud of Portland scene, uh, the amount of talent that's here, the amount of venues that allow it to happen. It's just, it's, uh, it's saturated in a good way.